number one Iron Age booty daddy. I have long said to those out there who have been following my channel, if we really want to take back the culture, we want to take back art, we want to take back storytelling, we want to take back movies and the things that we've seen just absolutely desecrated and eviscerated over the last five to 10 years, and some might even say 20 years, depending on how hardcore you are. I'm not that hardcore, I've just heard it. If you have to write something and you have to make something that you can put into the hands of children because that is exactly what the opposite side is doing. Now, I would argue with the things that they're writing and the things that they're putting in the hands of children, you shouldn't. But for so long, I have heard so many people talk about how they just want good storytelling back again, and they want to call out all of the bad stuff in the media and all of these things, and yet so many people never talk about the fact that it's time to put stories back into the hands of children. Well, one of the content creators that I've been following for uh, quite a little bit of time, not the longest period of time, but a little bit of time, is Jay David, also known as Jay the Canadian Bear, Drunk 3PO. He understands the value of putting something into the hands of children and has wrote an all ages adventure. Let's get over here to Indiegogo. Ladies and gentlemen, from J. David, the uh, Achromatic Chronicles, Blue. And this is a 220-page graphic novel. He has raised $34,000 in just his first few days. Now, this is definitely one of the larger care, uh, creators out there, and usually I focus on smaller creators. However, seeing as how my channel was dedicated to covering just about anybody doing something on this side of the aisle i have to cover this i can't not cover this because it is desperately important and i've been asking so many creators out there give me something that i can put into the hands of my children if i can put it into the hands of my children i promise you we will come out on the other side it's gonna take about 20 years to do it but we needed to start 20 years ago when this stuff started to infect what we were talking about. J. David gets this and he decided to release this. So let's check out this here and give a little bit of a reaction to it. Oh, wait. Michael's Blue is a graphic novel with over 200 pages that is suitable mm. for all ages. I Discover like the compression and the noise gate that he did to his voice there. That's actually really cool. Let's a unique let's go back how John develops Whoops. ages. Discover how John develops a unique friendship that is wrapped in mystery. And in this friendship, mm. takes him I like on it. an adventure I very much where like he this. discovers purpose and value in his world. Thank you so much for checking out this campaign, but get it quick because we're only selling this for a limited time. All right, so short sweet to the point they're only selling it for a limited time which i do hope that it sells so well that he can just put it on the market because right now i just i'm not there yet i don't have the ability to purchase this i would love to for my children um outside of the plosives that i heard from the microphone there which that's just my own personal audio uh, uh audio uh tuning one of the things that i really love about this is that i hope that jay inspires other people to build storytelling that are all ages, that can be for the whole family. The things that made storytelling so utterly fantastic in the last century, and the reason that a lot of people remember Tolkien, is not just because Tolkien was a master at his craft, but because everybody could read it, once you got to a certain linguistic level. One could say that, well, a seven-year-old probably wouldn't enjoy The Lord of the Rings simply because there's a lot of language in there that may be too big, for what they're capable of understanding. However, The Hobbit, on the other hand, as his son wrote, was perfectly fine for children that were younger in a little review that his son did when he was a little boy. Jay understands the idea of building culture. He started the Welcome to the Rebellion uh, hats and all that, and is really focused on making sure that the next generation has something to go for. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to stress once again how utterly important it is to make sure that you are writing stories that can be put into the hands of children. 
if you are a writer, if you are an author, right? And you are passionate about the culture war and passionate about storytelling. And I say the culture war in a certain way, we just need to get back to some semblance of morality in our society. You need to write stories that are good, they're moral, and they can be put into the hands of young children because it is those people who will then take your books and put it into the hands of their children. It's what I'm trying to do here on this channel. So ladies and gentlemen, please do me this favor. If you're an author, if you're a storyteller, if you're, um, if you're making an animated movie, if you're making a tabletop game, if you're making gaming, give me something, give me something that I can put into the hands of my children because that something is going to be carried on forward and be told to their children and then their children. And then after a generation, maybe two generations of fantastic storytelling that can be passed down to everybody. And I'm not saying storytelling that's diluted so much that parents can't enjoy it. No, write it so you enjoy it, but write it so a child can enjoy it as well. I think Jay understands this. So to drunk 3PO, which I don't think he drinks as much as I do, but from one drinker channel to another, to Jay, good job. And if I can, I will pick this up and I will put it in the hands of my children. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. Never forget to comment down below and let me know what you think about this video and about this topic because I dedicate a special live stream to all of my comments at 11 a.m. on Sundays. I hope to see you all there. It's called Sunday Coffee. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. Never forget, if you would like to be a part of my supporter live streams, head over to my Gilded or my Locals. Links down in the description, and you guys can join me for those live streams every single Wednesday. But right now, I would love to say thank you to everybody who is supporting me. Over on Locals, we've got Little Andean, Sword Rush, Frequency Studios, Katie Francis, Kikomon, Iron Age Media. We also have over on the Gilded, JP, the Myriosphere Origins, Skunk's Workshop, and the Gold Tier. He is an Iron Age booty daddy. Trippy Soul, also another Iron Age booty daddy. Kiko Mon and Frequency Studios to round all of it up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here on the channel, and I will see you all in the supporter live streams.